Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's recipe, I'm gonna make sweet and sour pork short ribs. So this is gonna be another quick and easy recipe, guys. So stay tuned and then we will get into it. So here is some clips that I make my sweet and sour pork short ribs. Isn't it look so delicious, guys? I hope you like it and enjoy it and then hoping that you can try this recipe guys this is quick and easy recipe i mean it's not quick but it's delicious for sure hello everyone welcome back to my channel for today's recipe i am gonna make sweet and sour pork short ribs and here is our ingredients green onion that is for toppings later salt ground black pepper red bell pepper cornstarch brown sugar egg onion water canola oil for frying and then soy sauce lia perrin sauce i'm using pineapple juice instead of apple cider vinegar ketchup and pineapple chunk so that's all the ingredients that we're gonna use for this recipe this is gonna be another easy recipe guys and it's gonna be so delicious for sure i hope you enjoy it guys let's get started Started. first thing i'm gonna do i gonna marinate the meat guys so there you go i put the soy sauce and now i gonna put the leah perrin sauce this way it's gonna taste really good the leah perrin sauce it tastes really good i add the salt and the ground black pepper now i'm adding the egg so now i gonna give it a good mix using gloves so let's give it a good massage about Three minutes massaging it will help to get our meat tender so after that i gonna add the sugar i'm just gonna put a little bit of sugar about two teaspoon of sugar so let's put brown sugar two teaspoon there you go and then let's give it a good massage also this way it will be marinated really good and our meat gonna be taste really delicious guys and i gonna marinate this for three hours if you don't have that time that's okay you can make it like maybe one hour or 30 minutes at least so here we go i'm gonna cover it with foil and i'm gonna refrigerate it for three hours after three hours here it is guys okay now i'm gonna make my slurry i'm using one half cup of water and i'm gonna use three teaspoon of cornstarch so there you go i'm gonna mix it really good so let's just give it a good mix and then we're gonna set it aside at this point we're gonna coat the meat with the cornstarch so there we go we're gonna coat it one at a time this will help i'm using cornstarch because it's gonna help our meat to get very crunchy Here we go guys, we're done coating the meat. Now I'm just gonna set it aside for 10 minutes. I'm sorry for the big mess guys. Yeah, it's part of cooking. So we're just gonna set it aside for 10 minutes before we cook it. Here we go, after 10 minutes of waiting, now I'm gonna turn the heat on into medium high heat and then I'm gonna add the canola oil. We're using about 3 cups of canola oil. Now I'm gonna check the oil if it is hot using bamboo chopstick. So there you go, the bamboo chopstick is bubbling. It means the oil is hot and ready to cook. So there you go, we're gonna put it one at a time guys. So be careful, this is really really hot. Here we go we just gonna cook it for four minutes each side guys and then after four minutes we're gonna turn it over 
after four minutes here it is guys it's turning golden brown now so now we're gonna turn it over and then we're gonna cook it for four minutes so let's just turn this over and then we're gonna get back into it after four minutes it smells so good guys here we go guys after four minutes here it is now i'm gonna turn it over one more time and i'm just gonna deep fry it for one more minute that way we're gonna achieve the crispiness of our meat so this is gonna be super delicious guys oh my gosh i can smell it and it smells so delicious guys Just cook it for one more minute guys here we go after one minute look at that guys it's beautiful golden brown it's so crispy now I cannot take this out Here we go we're done frying the meat now we're gonna proceed to make our sauce so there you go i put the pineapple juice sugar salt and then ketchup now let's just give it a good stir i'm just gonna give it a good mix and then when the ketchup is well dissolved i'm gonna put the slurry so there you go let's just mix it before we pour it in we're gonna make sure there is no lumps in it so we're gonna have a smooth and delicious sauce for our sweet and sour and then let's just give it a good mix and then we'll wait until it's get thicker we're just gonna cook it for about three minutes so here we go guys it's getting thicker now oh my gosh it smells so delicious i always use pineapple juice when i make sweet and sour guys instead of apple cider vinegar it feels like it's more delicious than apple cider vinegar so this is done guys now we're gonna proceed to the vegetables we're gonna saute the vegetables guys so there you go i use olive oil so there you go we put the olive oil at this point we're gonna saute the onion we're just gonna so we're just gonna cook it for like 30 seconds so i want my vegetables crunchy so we're not gonna overcook our vegetables so let's just give it a good stir and now i'm gonna put the red bell pepper red and green bell pepper so let's just saute it for about 30 seconds also there you go it's looking so beautiful i love the color white green and red so there you go now i'm gonna add the pineapple chunk i'm gonna use it all so there you go let's give it a good mix there you go now i'm gonna add the fried short ribs and then let's just give it a good mix and then we're gonna put the sauce that we need we go guys now i'm gonna add the sauce that we make there you go let's put it all oh my gosh this is a smell so delicious guys let's put it all 
Now let's just give it a good mix and we're done. We're almost done guys. Let's just stir it really good. So it will be evenly coated with the sauce. It's beautiful, good looking, sweet and sour pork ribs. This is my first time making um, sweet and sour pork short ribs. Normally, I only use the pork meat. It's gonna be so delicious. Here we go, guys. This is done. Now, I'm gonna turn it off and then plating time. Ready to serve. Here we go guys, this is our finished product of our sweet and sour pork short ribs. Oh my gosh, it looks so delicious guys, isn't it? Beautiful color and smells so good guys. Oh my gosh, I so there we go. Tasting time guys, taste test. So let's taste our pork sweet and sour short ribs. Here we go guys, first bite. Let's eat, guys. Mm. It tastes so good, guys. It's so delicious. It's perfect. We achieved our pork ribs sweet and sour. It tastes so delicious, guys perfect oh my gosh guys it tastes really delicious yay so there you go guys we achieve our sweet and sour pork short ribs perfect you should try this recipe guys it's so delicious for sure your loved ones gonna love this recipe guys okay guys i'm gonna end this video now i hope you enjoy this recipe and hoping that you can try this recipe also guys Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for the support. I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and click that bell button so you will be notified every time I have a new upload. Thank you so much, guys. God bless you all. See you in the next video, guys. Thank you and bye-bye.